hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great okay friday 21st of june 2024 and it's time for our wait for today an exit from ucb ireland and our topic today says what more could god have done for you what are you thinking now all right and our bible reading is taken from the book of isaiah 5 verse 4 and i read from my bible okay verse 4 it says what could have been done more to my vineyard that i have not done in it wherefore when i looked that it should bring forth grapes brought it forth white grapes praise the lord hallelujah another version says just a very simplified one it says what more could i have done all right and let's continue <laughs> Otto Brennan Manning tells the story of how he got the name Brennan. Growing up, his best friend was Ray. The two of them did everything together, bought a car together as teenagers, dated together. That is double dating. Okay, so they were friends, they, they dated, they had girlfriends together and they all dated together, went to school together, and so forth. They even enlisted in the army together, went to boot camp together and fought on the front lines together. Wow. One night, sitting in the foxhole, Brennan was reminiscing about the old days in Brooklyn while his friend Ray listed and ate a chocolate bar. Suddenly, a grenade landed in the foxhole. Ray smiled at Brennan, dropped his chocolate, and threw himself on the live grenade. It exploded, killing Ray. But Brennan's life was spared. Later time, it was customary to take the name of a saint. He thought of his friend, Ray Brennan, and chose the name Brennan. Years later, he visited Ray's mother in Brooklyn. They were sitting up late one night drinking tea when Brennan asked her, Do you think Ray loved me? Miss Brennan got off the sofa shook her finger in his face and shouted what more could he have done for you brennan says that right then he experienced an epiphany he imagined himself standing before the cross of jesus wondering does god really love me and jesus mother pointing to her son saying what more could he have done for you when jesus said it is finished the price of your salvation was paid in full. The question is, will you accept him today as your Savior and Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Jesus paid the price for all of us. It is finished. Okay. Just like the topic we had yesterday. Okay. My definition of definition of love love is not a noun is a verb is an action word okay when you say you love someone does your actions okay tell that you love the person how you treat the person so let's come back to what we've learned here today all right so we are seeing about the story of ben okay and his friend he actually just like today's word now somebody will ask you will you take a bullet for me you just look at the person. Me, take bullet for you. <laughs> you didn't whine me. Are you okay? But this is what this friend did for his friend. Okay? Remissing how they grew up. Okay? Look at what I would do for my friend. He has the right not to even, you know, stand up there and, you know, take that whole thing for his friend. But he did it. Knowing fully well what Jesus would do. What would Jesus do? Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for our saints. For all of us to be saved and when we are saved that means we are saved jesus has died for us he said on the cross of calvary it is finished so he paid the price of our salvation in full so put jesus okay in everything you're doing okay everything you're doing in life must align with what jesus is doing or what jesus has taught us to do Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if this if this friend puts his life, okay, in the line 
just to save his own friend, what would you do? Would you do that? So to your family, would you sacrifice for them? Would you put your life first? You, would you put your life on the line? I don't say like taking bullets. So you understand what we mean by showing love through your actions and make sure that is what you're doing. All right? Okay, my darling, that is it for today for us. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Ireland. And we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous videos? Just down in the description, you're going to see the chapters we've read, okay? But for today, we are reading 2 Chronicles chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, and Acts of the Apostles chapter 20 from verse 1 to 16. Thank you again for listening. You know I love you, but God loves you most. And don't forget, this is an excerpt from what for today from UCB Ireland. All right, darling. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.